slick talker since a jet. Winter time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, Winter one hell of a kid. Let's go, let's go. And then we back on Jubilee after. Take a step, I dare you. So he tries to climb it, but he keeps on climbing yeah. the same stair over and over. I ain't gonna lie, Pone Riff is thick as fuck. Why that boy got like mad ass? My nigga is double cheeked up and double stuffed up, bro. Holy fucking Christ. Over again. Dio's like, wow, what's wrong? You on 400 pink or something? You know what? While you struggle with your lag spikes, yeah, I'm gonna say this chair that's conveniently music, here, right man. over this staircase. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force. Bro, okay, let's actually peep this, bro, because I haven't peeped the uh, round table Black Air Force Energy. Is Draken in there, bro? And Mikey? Are they really are they really Black Air Force Energy like that, like that, though? I remember when the when the show started the, uh, with Tokyo Revenge and such shit, when he was, like, older or whatever on, on his weird demon time, and the nigga ran a truck into, like, bro's, like, the main character's girlfriend or some shit, like, blew up a casino. I don't remember. But I was saying this nigga was bugging out. But when, when I, whenever I see shit about Dragon, that nigga was chill. That nigga was just a G, bruh. But let's analyze this. Okay, we got Aizen. Damn, I didn't watch Bleach long enough to really get into Aizen. But this nigga, for sure. Kid Boo, hands down the first OG Black Air Force nigga. Aaron Yeager, bro, he got back on the fucking world. Dragon is. Alright, word, word, word. Mikey dead be shooting niggas in the manga after you go crazy. All right, all right. Revy, bro, Revy is like on like this nigga timing. Revy is like female this nigga. Compatro, I think his name was, bro. I I saw shit on this little girl, but I have no idea what her whole thing is, bro. But I know she's on weird demon timing. Ishiki, bro. Is this nigga Ishiki? Or should, should this nigga Ishiki really be on this table, bro? For real, for real, bro. Omni man, he can he can stay there, bro. He can stay there. He can stay there. Vegeta, he can stay. You know, he valid. This nigga, we didn't finish the anime, but like, I felt like he was more cool. Like he was chill. Like he wasn't a dick, dickhead. Like he wasn't crazy or none, right? Was, is this nigga crazy like that? That nigga from uh 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 the Incredibles also or Invincibles. Don't know who that nigga is. I think he's from Black Clover. This nigga don't know anything really about bro and or oh this bitch is also from Black Lagoon. She dessert bro. I swear to God, fifty percent of the seventy percent of the characters in in uh, Black Lagoon deserve a seat here, bro. Black Lagoon is the definition of Black Air Force activity, bro. The females in that anime are just fucking demons for no reason, bro. Killed his whole fa ass family. Oh oh damn. Okay. Force activity. And Yajiro, yeah, I know, I know that. And our is. greatest challenger yet has finally approached. No, the greatest challenger was Boo, don't play. And Broly! I didn't even realize Broly was here. How did I not see this big body ass? Oh, he's in the background, no wonder. Bro, Broly, nah, Broly was like probably the first character I saw with genuine Black Air Force energy in all of anime. Then Kid Boo, probably. Broly was literally that, like, bro, that nigga was, when he, like, fucking grabbed Gohan by the head and dragged him through a building, bro, I remember seeing that as a child, I was like, oh my god, this nigga is a menace, and then he was, like, stomping out fucking Goku and shit like that, the nigga, oh my god, bro, nigga, nigga was a Black demon, Air Force activity. Bro. And our greatest I hate Dio more than everyone, finally uh, there To combined. be judged and to take his right Dio is just, just weird, that nigga got a hard on for the Joe Stars for no reason, bro. To a table of menaces. Jo and it is none other. Then the greatest hater in Back, anime that, Bro, bro, Mojo, take notes, nigga. Let me three. stop. Let me stop. Dio, this is the king of hating ass. This is fact. The pettiest what is of weird the ass petty. Probably drug, one bro. of the greatest ops of all time. This man is truly Black Air Force incarnate. So, bro, I ain't even gonna waste no time. Yeah, on this give it. One. So give me the exhibit, bro. Present it. It is finally time to observe the generational hater. So, that nigga, the way that, Exhibit. bro, the way JoJo characters be standing and shit, bro, is like, it's like the best thing. It's like funny as fuck, but also like fly as fuck. Like, I, I love it, bro. I don't know why, bro. JoJo is just like, JoJo is a different breed of just an anime. Hey. That shit is a, like, bro, this shit's so unique. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A. 
Dio Brando. Mm, so to understand it, why this man has the most out of pocket hatred, we gotta go all the way back to 1880. 1880. So Dio started off in the trenches. Man was playing chess for money, getting <laughs> beat up in the bar, and living in this old ass shack. So bro, hella down bad. Mm -hmm. So his dad is dying, right? So he tells him. <laughs> Right, you listen here, boy. Like the dad did. Okay. When I on. die, take this letter to the Joe Star family. And they'll let you. Stay. Now you see them niggas owe me a debt. <laughs> I tell you, they some rich ass motherfuckers too. So you know what to do. Rob them niggas. Take every last cent. Make Pappy proud. So he dies. So Dio's at the cemetery. And he's like, nigga said, Psh. about damn time your old. Yeah, guy. back. Spits on that nigga gray. You drove mama to die. You was a piece of shit. So you can eat a dick, old nigga. Pussy. <laughs> so later on, Dio pulls up. But what I don't understand, right? No, what this nigga did to his dog? Okay, I'm not gonna spoil, bro. Bro, what he did to my man, uh, what's the, what's the first one's name? Jonathan? What he did to my man Jonathan's dog and his girl, that shit was fucked. Uh, the first, like, five episodes of fucking JoJo's was insane to me, bro. I was like, this nigga is a menace for no reason, bro. This nigga's a hater! He's a hater! He just does not want to see my man's up. But, um... But what I don't, I swear, I hate him for hurting Danny. Facts, bro. But what I don't understand, bro, is why does Dio, right? Like, what, like, okay. He got, okay. He got into this rich ass family, right? I understand his life was shit before that. But jo Jonathan, his dad, and all that have been nothing but nice to this nigga. Why is he still such a hating ass nigga? Why does he prey on their downfall? Like, bro could have probably inherited the money too, right? Like, that nigga got to live in a mansion, like, bro. But he still, like, just wanted to be a dick. Up to the Joe Star mansion. So Jonathan's like, Fact, hi, my so name's Jonathan. This is my dog, Danny. Look at that yeah. fucking rodent out my face. Yeah, isn't he great? Shit. The fuck fuck yo, dog, dog, nigga. Oh, my God, bro. Somebody call Peter. This nigga just <laughs> told you need the dog. Bro ain't even been here for a minute. He already yeah, said shit. Yeah, he said he said square up. up. That nigga said square up. <laughs> and then come out and he like, yo, what are y'all doing? And Dio's like, oh, I am terribly sorry. That filthy animal was in my personal space. So George so tells Jonathan, I right, listen, Dio's like, look at his face, bro. His pale ass. This nigga was born, uh, like, this nigga was born from Satan's ball sack, bro. Nigga's born of Satan's semen, gang. The nigga just looks like a menace. Like, why? Living here from now on. So Jonathan goes over to the so bad for bag, Jonathan. But Dio bro. grabs his hand and elbows him in the chest. So he comes down and he's like, listen, little nigga, this is my house now. I run this bitch. So I want to hear <laughs> from your little spoiled ass. I'm about to make your life hell. So as time goes on, as they start living together, Jonathan's having this boxing match. So the ref's like, hey, uh, just to let you know, your opponent got changed. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you're going to be fighting him. That nigga. Nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> like why bro i remember and he stole his friends and he stole his whole crew too then he get deal with his, his life goal was just to ruin my man's life for no reason for no reason oh my god he said carpet don't really be here let me hold Round. that mod mojo you are the last person to get mod you're bugging one fight <laughs> Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I'd rather give it back to JB. And a beautiful body shot landed by Dio. And a beautiful right straight to the jaw. He said JB should be like JB. I'm not jacking, I'm even giving JB my game. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, yo, this man just washed him in front of his hometown. So after Dio humiliated Jonathan. Jonathan started talking to, you know, Arena and everything. Yeah. So this man, Dio, decided to do the pettiest <laughs> No, literally. He pulls up on her and says, hey, you JoJo girl? You <laughs> got a little hat. Bro got the rizzing. Bro got the rizzing. Bro was supposed to have the cheese. He said, hey, you JoJo girl? Let me talk like to you. And I don't Let like that a bit. You. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. This man is so petty. He says, "Oh, you thought your I, first, yeah. oh, you thought your first kiss was gonna be with JoJo? Nah, it, it was, was with me, me nigga." <laughs> 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 So later on, Jonathan ends up running up on Dio. Yeah, no, he, like, he got you his get back. At me? You should learn <laughs> some respect. Fire. So he elbows him in the nose. Bro's like, hey, yeah, you bro. Little nigga. You just mad because I rizzed up your girl real good. But <laughs> no, this is, no, Jonathan got his get back. Jonathan just bro got his get back. back. Hit this man with the Dempsey roll. So Dio's like, oh, how dare you lay your hands on my like beautiful crying. face? I swear to God, I'm a shit guy. 
then George ends up stopping him. So Dio's like, I think you're getting away with this. I don't take L's. This so later so on, the weird, butler bro. is walking outside and he's at the furnace and he sees this box. So he's like, oh, it's just a box. So he lights the furnace, but then something start banging. So then later on in the day, they having a funeral because the dog was in the furnace. This nigga deal, bro. Like, he's a demon. He's literally not, like, he's a spawn of hell, bro. He's, he's like, I don't know how to, like, honestly, bro, yeah, he deserves to be on this. T but, like, I don't even know if this is Black Air Force energy. This is dead ass. just, like, I hate, like, I just hate. This nigga just has a hatred. Like, he just has a hating problem. Like, it's not like black, like, he's not doing black Air Force shit. He's just hating. He's just petty and hating, like crazy. <laughs> like, mental oh illness God, does not mean that you about that shit. So this you know what man, I'm saying? Dio, put the dog in the furnace to burn him. Oh my God. So, <laughs> a couple of years <laughs> pass, and they end up becoming friends. Well, not really, because yeah. this man, Dio, is fake as hell. So, George Joestar has gotten sick. And he has a very bad cough. So the thing is, Dio has. I don't know getting... anything about Poochie, bro. I know, like, I haven't seen Jolene shit, bro. I haven't seen Jolene shit, bro. Is the is the anime is Stone Ocean fully out, bro? This man medicine the whole time. I haven't even seen Golden Wind either. I just I just seen shit about it, but I, I haven't seen Golden Wind. I stopped after uh uh Josuke. Josuke, so the thing is, Dio has been giving this man medicine the whole time. I read it though, but not sure. his real medicine. This man has been poisoning him the entire time. And then Jonathan figured out, wait a minute, didn't your dad have the same symptoms too? Oh my God, Go you kill killed your dad! I forgot. So then Dio's like, are you trying to press me right now? So he ends up swinging on Jonathan. Oh, my man's Jonathan big body now. Ain't that John? Boy was like, bro, you best get to stepping out of my house. <laughs> Yo! I'm off the balcony. So Jonathan's like, you a fake ass nigga. And I'm calling the cops. I wish I, I wish he would do it in like a British accent place here. Like, you filthy wench! You're nothing but a harlot. A, a scallywag. Jolly bad show, mate. Like <laughs> so Dio I should they used dipping, to talk about he bro. takes the stone mask. So later on, he out here drunk as hell. So he ends up running into these two dudes. So bro smacks him in the jaw. Spit, and he's bro. like, mm, this is a perfect card. Time to test out this stone mask. So he puts it on this dude and runs him into the other dude. So it stabs him. So then the mask activates with the blood. And he done turned this man into a whole vampire. So the dude starts to choke him out. But that top of the morning end up getting his ass. So yeah, you ain't lying. This, I gotta Dio stop pulls You're not back lying. up to the house. So Jonathan runs up on him. He was like, yeah, Scoundrel. I didn't figure out you've been poisoning my dad. So Dio's trying to plead his case. Then Speedwagon in the corner like, Speedwagon! That nigga with his own oh, cap and ass. This is Speedwagon. Ah, oh, we fuck with Speedwagon. And then he George is behind real. the curtains. So Dio's like, well, I ain't got nothing to lose now. <laughs> Bring me that ass. So he ends up stabbing George. And he's like, <laughs> yes, That's why you got like that now. Tom. So they end up shooting him and Dio ends up going out the window. So about a minute later, while everybody thinking he dead, they're like, uh, why is his body gone? And he rips this man's head clean off. And now he's a whole ass vampire. Yeah. So bro just started bodying everybody in the house. <laughs> So then he goes over to fight Jonathan, but he ends up burning him. But obviously that ain't do nothing. He just shrugged it off. And yo, look at this man walking Walk. up the wall. Nah, walk. like the the yo, the walks is crazy. That nigga's always on his like, on his like lean. He like, be, he have his like lean back. Like the, the nigga be walking like these, bro. So, bro's a different breed with it. Bro's a different breed with it. What the fuck? Is that the Lord? But like. Nigga said Kim Tan got shit on me. <laughs> and look at Jonathan. He like, oh my God. He's like, oh, great heavens. <laughs> oh, great heavens. <laughs> He's one of them. He's one of them homosexuals. The shit on me. And look at Jonathan. He like, oh my God. His zestiness <laughs> is too strong. So man's had to tackle him all the way from the roof and impale this man on he his can turn the So he back. can finally burn the ash, but like, obviously that's not gonna work. Hello. Right? hello. <laughs> so like speedwagon like like Dio's the definition of a hater and speedwagon's the definition of like a dick suck. like 
dick sucking and like I guess the positive sense like that nigga be on jo- like the Joe Star's dick but in a good way. That nigga's a ride or die. That's what he, like he's a ride or die. A ride or die. Like he's the exact opposite of Dio. After Dio, this, bro. Dio does a bunch of shenanigans. First off, this man turned Jack the Ripper into a vampire. Yeah, so then right? he goes over and takes over this entire village. Mars turned basically almost everybody into zombies. Kidnapped this little boy's sister. Stepped on this oh. dog. What the f*** is that, bro? Like, honestly, <laughs> guys. And then... Oh, boy, this is probably the worst thing this man ever did. What? So he got this lady and her baby up here. What so she's like, please, do? please just remember. spare my child. And Dio's like, oh, no. bitch, please, who you think I is? Your exactly. baby daddy? I ain't got time to take care of your damn kid. So he turns her into a zombie and makes her eat her baby. Oh, shit, I forgot no, that. I'm huh? done. No. This is probably the first time I've ever done this, but I don't care. Go ahead and sit down, bro. I, I, I'm done. This is the most demonic shit I have ever seen. Besides, besides when Boo faded niggas in heaven. No, 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 no. Right Boo fading niggas in heaven was crazy. Bro had them lined up, bro. Bro had them lined up like it smells like pussy in here, bro. It's not like straight bitch in here. I have ever here. seen besides, besides when Boo faded niggas in heaven. This is right behind it. What? The actual f Nah, bro. We ain't even done with Exhibit A, and I just had to go ahead and sit the man's, bro. I know. I had to give this man a fast pass. He skipped the line. Bro said, yeah, I'll spare him, I. So after a bunch of traumatic ass events, Zumbini Jonathan finally it. pulls up on Dio. So he's like, wow, congratulations. You beat all of my sub bosses. Tell me, tell me real quick. How's that Zeppeli pack hitting? <laughs> Zeppelin! So he ain't about to scrap, but Dio comes in and he's like, no, this is my fight. So he jumps up the oh, kick, split kick but Dio dude. grabs both of his legs and makes him do the split. This shit was then so he freezes weird, his bro. entire body. Then he says, you know, men shouldn't do the splits, right? Because that's how you break your balls! Yo, bro shattered this man's body. So then Jonathan comes in and slices him in half with his sword. But Dio's like, <laughs> you really thought that old bullshit was gonna work? Say psych right now. Let me tell you something right now. Yo, I'm on training is ass. You are ass. Damn. So then Dio jumps at him, but Jonathan hits him with the this fire. Yeah, no, that is shit. So Dio's like, it's impossible. <laughs> like, bro, this anime was so over the top, bro. Like that, like 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 JoJo's is just so over the top. Like especially the first season, bro. Like I like how after though the first season, like the second season, it starts becoming more comical because the first series or or or, or season or part, I guess, first part of JoJo's just felt very like like it 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 felt like it was trying to be like an actual serious anime. But bro, no, I couldn't take like I couldn't take it as one, bro. It was so fucking funny, bro. But like weird type shit and then it felt like ap after the end entered jonathan oh no nigga run the yo oh my god it, it just became like it like you know what i mean it became more lighthearted and not like it was still dramatic but in a funny way bro it was like i i like jonathan's my favorite joe star bro that nigga's a dub that nigga, or jo so, uh, joseph i said jonathan joseph my fault oh some I time passes so jonathan and arena end up getting married so while they are on their honeymoon Jonathan ends up seeing one of Dio's assistants. So he runs after him and they end up going to this casket. So bro opens the casket and he pulls Dio's head out of the casket. <laughs> then Dio says, happy like, honeymoon, sorry, nigga. Hey, hey, first off, I just want to give my congratulations, even though I did steal your girl's first kiss. Congratulations, my bad. I couldn't make the wedding, bro. I knew I would have been your best man, right? <laughs> tell me, tell me something real quick. How my lips taste? What the fuck? So bro laser beams this man, turns everybody on this ship into zombies, and ends up jacking this man's body. Yeah, he oh, rested he, how did he even do that? I don't know. How did he do that? How did he... How? At the bottom of the ocean. For also, you. also, I used to see shit too. Does that mean the world was actually Jonathan's stand? And Dio just, I guess, took it because... You know what I mean? Because... Like, like, how did that work? Like, what? Like, I remember seeing some shit, like, saying basically, like, I don't know if it's true or not, but niggas were jacking. Oh, yeah, since it was, like, Jonathan's body and Dio's just controlling it, he just had Jonathan stand. Type shit. Like, Jonathan would have had the world if he actually 
I guess knew how to use stand power. I don't know. I don't remember a stand power even worked to be honest. Years, but, uh, 1889 to 1983. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's finally time to move on to Exhibit B. You got two stands. That's crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Dio. So after Dio came out of his casket in 1983, this is when he took stuff to the next level. Bro was on his Kanye arc. Nigga dropped off his last name and said, you will know me as capital D, capital <laughs> I. I, capital oh. O. Mans was going around beating cheeks, beat some cheeks, nah, made Jorno, beat demon. some more cheeks. Had hey, yeah, fact, I forgot. What? I don't know anything about these ugly niggas. But I forgot, bro. Jorno, Jorno's deals, uh, deals. You will know me as Capital D, Capital I, Capital O. Man's was going around beating cheeks, beat some cheeks, made Jorno, beat some old cheeks, had Bruh. three other ugly ass kids with Jonathan's body, and yeah, he would right? just drink their blood after he finished beating their cheeks. <laughs> then he ended up meeting Poochie, his hating ass successor, oh, passed God. down his hating ass ideology to this nigga. At least God, he's not racist. From Inya the Hag's ugly ass. And yo, this man was just so mysterious at the beginning of Stardust Crusaders. You ain't even see his face till nah, like never. 45 episodes never. later. Oh, you Every see this nigga shirtless rubbing his body and shit and, that, and his little star tattoo, bro, that they just implemented into the show, bro. At the beginning of Stardust Crusaders. You ain't even see his face till like 45 episodes later. Everybody just- That niggas stories. are off though. Holy shit. Look at that shit, bro. God damn. So meeting him. Avdol was like, yeah, yeah, I saw that nigga. I was walking up the stairs, right? And I saw this big motherfucker. I don't he remember was licking nothing about no raping. But I was like, hell no, I ain't into that freaky shit, you feel me? So <laughs> watching his Wait, lips, what? nigga. I was <laughs> Wait, walking what? up the stairs, Crusaders. You ain't even see his face till like 45 episodes later. Everybody just had stories of meeting him. Avdol oh, yeah, was like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, I saw that nigga. <laughs> I was walking up the stairs, right? And I saw this, this big weird. motherfucker. He was licking his lips and shit. This nigga's was... weird. <laughs> Nigga, it's so weird. Nigga, it's so weird. Like, hell no, nah, I ain't into that <laughs> freaky shit, you feel me? So I jumped out the window and I hit the dash yeah, while I was bro. stepping. Then they ran into Polnareff. Polnareff was like, yeah, Polnareff I remember that. Polnareff was so weird, bro. Polnareff was so weird. Yo, he brainwashed me and shit. Man, took me into this room and he had the gypsy ball and shit. <laughs> Nigga was like, I can tell your future. <laughs> and he brainwashed this man Kakyoin too. But nah, nah, it's what he did to whole horse. While Dio was reading the whole but this man really tried to pull a gun on him. Yeah, then when he's about to shoot stupid. him, Dio's like, are you positive you want to pull that trigger? Then bro teleports right behind him. And he was like, ooh la la. <laughs> ooh la la is crazy. Ooh la la is crazy, bro. Ooh la no, Dio is gay. Dio is gay. Like, I don't care what anybody says. That nigga's bisexual as fuck. Nigga's bisexual as fuck. Fuck, bro. Like, this nigga likes men, bro, deviously. They just don't show that part. Then bro teleports right behind him. And he was like, ooh la la. Ooh, la, la. <sighs> Shit's crazy. I liked how you pulled that gun out on me. We should do this more often. Dog had this man shaking in his boots. So when they finally get to Egypt after facing all the sub-bosses, Polnareff ends up walking up on this staircase and finally finds Dio. So Dio's like, wow, congratulations, y'all made it. I mean, you down two people, but <laughs> congratulations. Hey, but I'll tell you I this, never though. finished part three. I skipped to part four, but because, like, I got spoiled OD on what happens type shit. So, like, I was like, well, fuck it. So I didn't see, like, a lot of these clips. You walk up that step. You're dead. Take a step, I dare you. Says, so he tries to here. climb it, but he keeps on climbing the same stair over and over and over. How does this again. even Dio's work? Like, bro. Wow, How does the world do you that? 400 pink or some shit? <laughs> you know what? While you struggle with your lag spikes, I'm gonna sit in this chair that's conveniently here, right over this staircase. So then everybody else finally ends up coming in. So Dio's like, hmm, the sunlight. I must retreat. So about a minute later, they climb this staircase and they see this casket. So Joseph's like, hey, ugly ass boy, open the casket. That's my guy, so Joseph. He opens the oh casket. Oh my God. He sees himself in the casket. What? So they like, oh shit, hey, jump. <laughs> what? What? I'm so confused. What? Who is that? Is the same nigga? What the fuck? So they like, they oh shit, <laughs> hey, <laughs> jump. Yeah. <laughs> like this one's like this shit is so over the top, bro. It's hilarious. So they like, oh shit! Now nah, remember the remember the look at this thing of Porter. He's like, 
<laughs> and then the other three are just like, get the fuck out of here! Bro, what the fuck? Like, okay, it's a dead body of the same nigga in the casket. The niggas got that spooked, though. But fucking, remember the, the kid or whatever, the little baby, bro, who had them in, like, the dream world or whatever, and Kakuin had to take care of that shit? That was crazy, bro. I remember seeing that shit. I was like, that baby gotta die. I was like, yeah, I was like it's the baby. The fucking little baby. That nigga's a stand user. He's a stand user. Like, I remember watching that shit and be like, kill the baby. So shit, everybody, nobody was believing Kaku and bro. I was like, oh my god. Hey, jump, yeah. Yo, the fact that this man, Dio, put this man in the casket like that. What's in general? Hold up. What in the fuck? I can't even, like, get a good look. Is that him and Poochie laying in bed naked? What did these niggas just get done doing fucking, bruh? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Man's killed him in the blink of an eye and shoved him in the casket. Just so he could give him a little scare. So they are running away and deals like, ah. Uh. Yes. Yeah, that fucking stand with the lean back. So later on, bro, walking <laughs> down nigga, bro. the street, and he's this like, hmm, nigga. I like this car. So Dog's like, hey, what you think you're doing, cuz? This car belongs to the senator. But he just breaks <laughs> his arm and hops in the car. So then he looks at the senator, rips out his what tooth the front fuck? teeth, and he says, mm, looks like you got a date with the tooth fairy tonight. Now get your ass in the front seat and drive. So while they driving, they hit a traffic jam. So the senator's like, yo, I can't drive. Then Dio says, oh, yeah, uh, run you know over the, the sidewalk. sidewalk wide open, yeah, right? bro, I saw clips of this. On the sidewalk and Dio says, floor it. So he made this man run over <laughs> No, this was Black Air Force. This was Black Air Force. get out of a traffic jam. Jesus Christ. So he finally ends up catching up to him. So Kakyoin tries to use Emerald Splash on him. But Dio just looks at it. He's like, wow, so pretty. Get the shit out of my face. This bro is so pretty. So while they keep on driving, he throws the senator through their car. So they end up dipping and going on top of the roof. So Dio follows them. So then Kakyoin sets up this trap. So it's like, ha ha, I have you now. Did my man so show me your stand ability. So Dio's like, I right, then. You should Witness not have asked for that what? <laughs> the ratio is crazy, right? So then Dio goes over to him and says, This is my stand ability. The ratio. I can stop time and ratio anybody in the amount of mere seconds. In just a blink of an eye, I could freeze your account and gain hundreds. No, that's why. Thousands <laughs> of months before you even do what? Now, I'm about to fist you. And no pause. <laughs> because we're already paused. Resume. Ah! My man, so filthy. So Don't Joseph him, was bro. like, oh, like nah. what's the best prime. thing I know how to do? Hit the jets. And get you gotta go. Nigga, run the What's the best thing I know how to do? Hit even the an jets. Old, and get the step. Even as an old man, he's chasing goes. Joseph down. He ends up punching him off this roof. So Joseph sees Jotaro. And he's like, oh, my God, my nigga. Yeah, what was Jotaro doing the entire time? That nigga having a stroll down the sidewalk? Like, why wasn't J Jotaro helping Kaku and that shit? Kaku in mid uh, for fighters better. Or food. I don't know who that is. All right, at least I don't remember. But, like, bro, like. Joseph down. He ends up punching him off this roof. So Joseph sees Jotaro. And he's like, oh, my God, my nigga. nigga always do not be come like... any closer. So then Dio sees him. And he's like, mm. Both of them at the same time. Time to end this mid-ass bloodline. The ratio! So then Dio comes down and just starts walking towards him. Smacking cats, smacking people Why? like they mannequins. And he's like, hmm, I could only used to give one L at a time, but now I can give two. It'll eventually be 10 to 20 to thousands. So I leave you with my party gift. The knife. Then they got like a thousand of them shit, and right? With that resume. So then he looks at Jotaro and he's like, hmm. Your next This is so iconic. This is so iconic. The are you approaching me or whatever? <laughs> oh, nigga. So Jotaro's like walking towards him, so he's like, huh. So you're approaching, approaching me? me? Yeah. Trying to fall off like your granddaddy nigga. <laughs> but he's like, nah, I gotta get closer to you so I can beat the ass. Your ass. So Dio's like, mm, I like that. I like that energy. That nigga. thing is <laughs> cock got hard, bro. Got the stiffy. And get this fade. So they start boxing and Dio hits him with this nasty. And he's like, mm, that's what I used to hit your gr gr granddaddy with back in the day. Now catch this ratio. 
So they keep on scrapping, so Jojo ends up punching him into this jewelry store. So while he's knocked out, he gets up and looks at the lady. He's like, hey, make yourself useful and fetch me my leg. So she started to get scared, so he said, bitch, hurry the fuck up and give me my goddamn leg. So he ends up killing her and taking her blood, and he's like, oh, we just getting started, you overgrown man child. I hope you're ready yeah, for Yeah, Jotaro is only 17 or So they bro ended 16. up throwing all these knives at this man. Nigga was in man. high school. Like, can somebody please tell me where Grown this ass man, man was throwing bro. all of these knives at? Like, That's bro, what bro. I always thought. Like, what the fuck? Then they got like 70 knives with Ain't him. Ain't no way that belt buckle handled all of those. <laughs> so he ended up stabbing him. So while he's on the ground, Dang, Dio's headshot? like, hmm. I guess I'll just kill him with this road sign. <laughs> but then Polnareff comes from yeah. the rope. And then Dio just stops. I mean, he's like, oh, that tickled. Go ahead and move to the side for me. So then the cops pull up, but Dio's like, What the fuck the cops really? gonna do? <laughs> well, so then he starts controlling the other cop. And he's like, I, right, I need you to aim right and precisely right there. So he makes them shoot him. And yo, this man is so determined to make sure that he is dead. He is lying on the ground <laughs> trying to hear the heartbeat. That is like, crazy. That is crazy. I better not hear this nigga take a breath. But you know what? Just to make sure, I'm going to chop off his head with this road sign. But Jotaro ended up cracking him upside the head. And he hit him so that hard. That nigga take the bullet. Jotaro take the bullet. What the fuck he kind of can't body? even move his legs. That nigga so hard like, body. I no, I got to go. So he ends up stopping time and hanging on to the back of his taxi. Then Jotaro ends up chasing him. In the sewer, yeah. He's in the sewer right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> that that is so fly. over the but top. This man Dio starts screaming at him. He's like, ha ha, you fool. You fell for my trap. Don't you remember this same street? So we ended up punching him to the street that Joseph's body is at. And he ends up taking all of his blood. He sucked that man dry. Pause. Oh, that's and how he's going like Super Dio. Saiyan And bro is a losing his mind. He's like, mm, yes, this glorious power is even giving me green lipstick. Yeah, what the fuck was this nigga on? This nigga Dio is so different, bro. Oh, this nigga like is so different, bro. Big, fat, juicy kiss. <laughs> that nigga is so different. So they start scrapping again, and Dio is just starting to go off the deep end now. I was like, this body is so juicy. Now run me my money, nigga! So <laughs> Jotaro ends up going flying, so Dio's like, Oh, Jojo! And Jotaro had books under his clothes, so the bullet and the knives didn't actually hurt <laughs> What? Why do you have books? What the fuck? Like, bro, how is this nigga stashing books? Where is he stashing the books at, bro? I know that big-ass trench coat he got. That tight-ass trench coat, bro. That shit can barely fit his own body, let alone some textbooks, my nigga. What the fuck are them shit? So fucking, uh, like, like, what? What do you think you're doing, you sack of shit? <laughs> With this final attack, I will finally end your mid ass bloodline for good. The ratio! The Rotorola! He's like, hmm, I'm about to create the greatest meme in anime history. <laughs> One elf has passed, two elves have passed, three elves have passed. So we gotta be thinking, okay, yo, what is this man charging up? It's gotta be like a spirit up. Yeah, bomb, a Sengon, a Getsuga, or I don't know, a Dragon Fist. No, this the man does the unthinkable. <laughs> this man dropped a steamroller on him. He dropped a steamroller on him. Man? Who in their right mind would so think of weird. this? Bro saying, hmm, I could end his life with anything right now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fly over to this construction site. Grab this big ass steamroller. Fly it all the way back. How many seconds does Dio have? Because I know jo Jotaro has like, what, three or some shit like that? Five? Three or five or something. Dio had like eight, right? I think that was his thing. Yeah, like eight. Slam it on this thing. <laughs> what? That, that is just doing the most. So then he starts beating. And for the longest time, for all these years, I thought, yo, he's beating the hell out of this with his fist. No, no, take a closer look. He is beating this with this his elbows. elbows. He what elbow the fuck? Going on with this so then he's like, it's no use. You fella. Oh, shit. So then Dio's like, yes, <laughs> I finally done it. After I all these long me. years, <laughs> ratio power! Yo, back I have finally ratioed the entire, entire Joe Star family. Joe Stars. All you bitch ass niggas, 
Spells are f***ed off. My ratio power has now exceeded to nine L's. But then Dio ends up realizing he can't move because Jotaro just stopped time. It was like, impossible. This is bullshit. So then he ends up kicking him off the steamroller. It's the same stand as mine. One final clash. But then Jotaro hit him with a counter ratio. Then he says, you know, man, there's only one reason why you lost. You just simply pissed me off. Get off my family dick. Damn. On God. Spoken like a true Jojo, nigga. Nigga say get off my bloodline's cock, bro. So yeah, I'm tired uh, of I it. mean, I already sat the man, so what? I don't even think Dio belongs in. Like, he's definitely like a menace. Yeah, actually, he might be Black Air Force. But I feel like he's, like, he, like, like he said, he's just the generational hater. Like, he's just a hater, hater. Like, he takes it to the extreme, yeah? But like, I don't think he deserves to be on a menace tier list like this. I think the nigga's just a really flamboyant ass nigga who just, who just, is a little uptight that he didn't get to sleep with Jonathan, bro. That nigga, you know that nigga used to be jerking Jonathan's dick off crazy, bro. Don't play with me, bro. As soon as he got his body, he got to testing out his fucking stamina, his limitations, bro. More could I say. I mean, I could get into some of the stuff that happens in part six, but that would be getting into spoilers for anime only, so I'm not gonna do all that, but uh. Yeah, bro, this man is a menace. This is a demon incarnate. Man tormented this family for damn near 100 years, made a lady eat her own child, and along with dropping a steamroller on a nigga. No, pack your bags. Bro, pass this test with ease. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot to record the outro, so I'll just leave y'all with this. Young Chris. <laughs>